I'm Angel Blue, and I'm so excited to host the first presentation of the new Metropolitan Opera season. Today, you're in for a very special treat. In a few minutes, the Met's historic gold curtain will rise and reveal Franco Zeffirelli's vision of Imperial China, the setting for Turandot. It's Puccini's epic tale of dangerous love in ancient times. For those of you who don't know the story, Turandot, the daughter of an emperor, has a serious grudge. Nonetheless, like moths attracted to a flame, her suitors risk their lives and their heads in their quest for her love. The soprano who plays Turandot must have a voice of burnished steel to handle one of Puccini's most vocally demanding dramatic roles. Today, rising to the challenge is the mighty American soprano, Christine Gerke. Joining Christine is the dashing Azerbaijani tenor Yusuf Evazov, who plays Kalaf, the fearless young prince who is willing to forfeit his life in pursuit of Turandot. He also sings one of Puccini's most famous operas, arias, Nessun Dorma, in the final act. The lovely Italian soprano Eleonora Borato plays Liu, the slave girl who is also willing to die for love. And Met legend James Morris plays Kalaf's father, the blind king Timor. Presiding over this excellent cast and the magnificent chorus and, and orchestra is our music director, Yannick Nezé Seguin, conducting his first Puccini opera at the Met. And the man standing next to me thinks it won't be his last. Joining me now is the Met's general manager, Peter Gelt. Hi, Peter. Hey, Angel. How are you doing today? I'm excited. I'm excited you're hosting your first HD show. And, um, you know, as you said, uh, it won't be Unique's last because he's just begun his tenure as our music director. And I expect before he's done, he will have conducted every Puccini opera and every other, <laughs> and every other opera in the repertory uh, many times over. And I hope that you will be starring in many of those oh. as well. Thank you. And t today is a very special day for us because it's the first uh, broadcast of the season. Uh, we are you know, thrilled to be serving our audience around the world, particularly in these tr very troubled times. We believe that opera is a chance for people to get some escape from, from the troubles in the world and to enjoy the, the beauty and uh, the thrilling experiences that opera provides, like today's. Yes. Well, Peter, thank you for sharing your thoughts on this uh, 14th season uh, that you have now as the general director. Is there anything that you're particularly looking forward to this season? Well, you know, every, every season uh, we offer a wide variety of different operas. In fact, during the course of today's broadcast, we'll be giving some previews of some of the things that are to come. But I'm most excited, I think, about uh, our new production, Porgy and Bess, that stars you. <laughs> so uh, that's the you know, first time in, in, in more than 30 years that the Met is presenting Porgy and Bess, and we, we know there's a great deal of excitement around the world for it. Oh, thank you so much, Peter. In Boca Lupo for today and all that follows. Thanks so much. In Boca Lupo to you. Thank you. Maestro Nezé Sagan is set to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Turandot.
Senza un vicino con la nera d'un cammino, sul picchiare 
At the end of the previous act, Kalaf has declared his intentions. Will he be able to answer Turandot's riddles and win her hand? Or will he lose his head trying? We'll soon find out. Here is act two.
speranza che dell'ode sempre.
At the end of the previous act, Kalaf has successfully answered Turandot's riddles, but his trials are not over. Will Turandot learn his name by sunrise? Here is the thrilling conclusion of Turandot.
mistero, non ne ho più sei via. Tu che trevi se ti sfioro, tu che sfiarmi se ti faccio, vuoi perdermi se vuoi, il mio nome la vita in cielo.
I'm in the maestro's dressing room with the man of the hour, Met Music Director Yannick Nézé Seguin. Hello, maestro. Hi, Angel. How nice are you feeling? Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm so happy. This music makes me so happy. The fact that the chorus and the cast and the orchestra plays and sings so well, I'm, I'm just, you know, the happiest man on earth now. <laughs> That's wonderful. Maestro, you've conducted at the Met for 10 years, but this is your first Puccini opera here. What made you choose Turandot? I think probably because it's such a choral opera. I have a love for chorus. Um, this is my background, and it's also an opera I conducted twice before coming here so I think it it shows all my comfort levels on with the great arias and ensembles but especially also with the chorus which has so much to do yes so with both the chorus and the orchestra what aspects do you especially want to bring out in this extraordinary score I think what we associate with Turandot very often is the verticality those big chords those loud moments and they are thrilling especially in that production there's so much sound coming from the way the scenery is done but i want to show more the tenderness you know non piangere you in the act one and also even the ping pong pong scene when they talk about their place in the country uh, it's such tender and really true, intimate Puccini, and that contrast really interests me. Yes, and Turandot is such a tour de force for the principal artist. What kind of work did you do with Christine, Yusuf, and Eleonora to help them with these very demanding roles? Well, I have to credit a lot my music staff here. We have at the Met the best music staff in the world. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm bragging, but that's true. <laughs> and uh, you know how they are. And I think we really worked as a team to con have a continuity and be able with all of them to reopen the score, look at what Puccini intended, and I have to say they were so great at trying not to take anything for granted but just looking back at the score and that's what we did and the rest I'm just trying to be there to support them and to to love them so that they can express to the world all their talent thank you maestro thank you. Toy, can, toy, I, toy. can I leave it to you yes toy 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 maestro Brava, Thanks. brava, it was you thank you, so love. wonderful. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, it's nice to have a microphone now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like taking the stage, launching immediately into the powerhouse aria in Cuesta Reggio? Oh, it's not a big deal. It's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I mean, it's, it is amazing because it, you have the, the whole half of the opera to prepare and to concentrate. So when you come out, you are so focused. I, I, I really actually love it. Oh, you're just <laughs> phenomenal. When Thank describing you. turned up, people often throw around adjectives like icy, fierce, ruthless. Is that how you see her? Some, in some ways, uh, but in other ways, no. It, it's interesting to me because we all sort of have that outer shell that we put on. I think that everything that she does is driven by fear. and. I think that it's very easy for Turandot and Kalaf to come out as kind of jerks. But uh, the thing is, is that they, there's, there's a reason he sees something beautiful in her. And she is afraid but desperately wants happiness as well. So that's how I see her. Wow. Well, you and Maestro Yannick Nézé Seguin have worked together a lot and have built such a great rapport. How would you describe your collaboration with him in this piece? I, I love working with him so much. You know, I mean, it's, it's almost like... <laughs> having fun with a friend. Oh, that's <laughs> you know, awesome. I mean, there's trust and it's it's never quite the same every time, but that's wonderful because that's what, you know, live theater is about. Yes. So it's a joy to work with him. Well, Christine, thank you so much. It's and Toy pleasure. Toy Toy for X3. I thank you so you. much. I adore you thank as well. You so much. Thank you. Hi, Yusuf, this is your live cinema debut in one of Puccini's oh my most God. demanding roles. How do you feel? I don't know. I don't know because, you know, now I, I have, I, I force myself just to remember the opera, what I have to see. <laughs> <laughs> and really, that's so excited. That's, I'm so happy, you I'm know, happy really. For you. so this day I will I will remember forever so of course special. well what is it like to sing in this legendary production I mean it's a huge privilege yes. first of all it's huge responsibility because yes. in this production sung all the greatest tenors of past time and present time so that's why it's huge huge responsibility oh yes. my god I, every performance it's like exam you know you have to approve yourself and do what what is the best you Absolutely. can do. Absolutely. Well, this is, this, this is the first time that our global audiences are meeting you. Tell us how you got from Azerbaijan to the stage of the Metropolitan Opera and 
I spent 20 years wow. to do that. Yes. 20. So I'm I'm really very happy, and this day is so special for me, yes. and so happy to 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 be here in this amazing theater. You know, everybody. I said many many times that every single person who works in this amazing theater give a heart to his work, and this is make us feel home. Yes. So I have to ask this. Your biggest singing is yet to come in Act 2 and Act 3, including the famous Aria Nessun Dorma. Oh my God, yeah. Do you pace yourself for that? And what will you be thinking about when you sing Nessun Dorma? You know, especially today, which is the day, birthday of great uh, Luciano Pavarotti, which is, was the best Nessun, which has had the best Nessun Dorma ever, I will think of him, of course. Oh, wonderful. And, and I would love to dedicate to him this afternoon because he was he's, a, he's he's my inspiration for all my artistical life and you know when i'm confused when i'm uh, when i don't know what 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 i have to do i just go and listen to him and everything it's immediately clear that's amazing and well so I am we'll sure think he, about him today you said thank you so much thank and you. Lupo for the Crepe rest of thank, thank, thank you thank you so much thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now i'm going to speak with our Liu, italian yes. soprano eleonora burato Ciao, Eleonora. Hi, Come stai? Benissimo. Thank you so much. Oh, your voice is so beautiful. Oh, thank you. And Liu has some of the most beautiful music in the opera. What is the essence of her character for you? I think uh, the power of love, the courage, and the the sense of sacrifice. Yes. Because uh, Liu uh, loves Kalaf, and she wants to, to see him very happy. But the happiness for him is Turandotte. So. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. So the, the only solution, uh, the solution for this uh, is uh, to kill herself. Yes. So he can win. Yes. So now you're Italian. So what does it mean to you to sing Puccini as okay. an Italian? Uh, growing up hearing be, the music. Being Italian helps uh, Italian people for the language. Yes. That's it. But if you have voice, technique, uh, sense of dynamics, uh, fraseggio, phrasing. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's it. Yes. You, you can sing uh, everything, Puccini, Verdi, you, you, have, you have to feel inside. Yes. What does it feel like to be in this production, this iconic Zeffirelli production of Turandot? Yes, I think it's amazing. Yes. Amazing um, um, for the set, set design, for the costumes, and uh, it doesn't uh, surprise me that the audience uh, applauds uh, the, the, yes. the, the scenes change during the second act. Yes. Because it's really amazing, from the dark to completely a gold and, and, and shining of course, scene. Well, we, wow. You are our gold and our shining scene with these beautiful, high, <laughs> wonderful notes. Thank you so much. Thank you so Bravo much. Bravo to you and bye to bye. Toy Toy for the Thank rest. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Ciao. I'm joined now by a great artist whose own Met career has spanned nearly five decades, James Morris, our Timor in today's performance. Hello, James. Hi, Angel. Well, your career at the Met is the stuff of legend, and you've sung more than 1,000 performances on this stage, including leading roles such as King Philip in Don Carlo, Claggart in Billy Budd, the four villains in The Tales of Hoffman, The Flying Dutchman, and of course, Wotan in The Ring Cycle. And that's just scratching the surface. What do you think of as being your signature role? Uh, pr probably The Ring Cycle, Wotan. Yes. That's uh, ev everybody, they work and work, and like in TV or the movies or whatever, they, they work a whole career, and then one thing comes along that you know sort of fits and I was very lucky and it was such a great production and uh, I was just very fortunate to be here at that yes. time. Next really. season will be the 50th anniversary of your Met debut. What right. does it feel like to reach such an extraordinary landmark? I really wasn't keeping track of it until a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> People started talking to me about it. It's uh, I never thought that would happen really yes. and uh, it, it feels it feels wonderful. I mean, the Met is my home. Oh, wow. I sing everywhere else, but uh, this has always been my home. Well, I'm very honored to, to speak with you. Thank you so much for speaking Thank with you, me. Thank you, and you're incredible. <laughs> Thank and you. Best. Thank you so much. Congratulations on your remarkable Met career, and thank you for speaking Thank with you. me again. Thank Bravo. you very much. Thank you, James. The great Italian director and designer Franco Zeffirelli died in June at the age of 96. In his heyday, his productions transformed opera with their sense of spectacle and beauty. 
This production of Turandot is one of 11 that he created over the course of his 35-year Met career. I must say, I'm partial to La Boheme, in which I made my debut two seasons ago as Mimi, and which is the most performed production in Met history, with 486 performances and counting. We're dedicating this season's performances of Turandot and La Boheme to the memory of Franco Zeffirelli.